Hi, Mark Graham, Engineering Sales Manager here at Gorilla Grills. Today I want to talk about the operation of the Alpha Smoke Control Board. So if you come on in, we'll talk about it. So I just plugged this grill in so you can see the red indicator light. When I turn it on, it's going to turn green. It's also going to default to mode 1, which is PID, and 250 degrees because that's what happens if you unplug the grill. If you leave your grill plugged in, it's going to default to whatever mode you're in and whatever the set point you had last selected. If I hit the up arrow, you can see there it, of course, defaulted to 250. And then it's going to go back to your grill temperature. If you want to change your temperature, simply press the button. It goes in five degree increments. Press and hold it. It goes faster. Simple as that. Same with the down arrow. If you want to check your food temp, simply press your pro button. You can see this is flashing. It's indicating what your meat temperature is. After three seconds, it goes back solid, and then it goes back to your grill temp. The numbers are flashing right now because it's below the min setting. The grill's not happy. It's just indicated that once the fire starts and the temperature rises, this will quit flashing, by the way. Um, now, to switch modes, first, all you have to do is press and hold the mode button, and you can see it jump over to mode two, or pro smoke. Press again, boom, jumps back over to PID. You can do this anytime the grill is turned on, during startup, during normal running, Anytime is no problem. The control board will make adjustments accordingly. What I will tell you, the first 13 to 15 minutes, the control board does not even look at what set point you have selected. It's going through a startup process. It's priming the fuel. It's starting a fire. It's building some good coals. And then after that time expires, it'll start making some adjustments. So give your grill some time before you think that it's not operating properly. It takes about 15 minutes for it to build a fire and then start looking to make some adjustments to get your fire to the temperature that you want. One of the features of the PID mode is the ability to change what's called the min setting. First of all, I'll tell you how to get into it. So if you're in mode one, you hit the mode button and the up and down arrow for two seconds all at the same time. It jumps into your min setting number. This can be changed by simply raising and lowering the number. And then to get, once you set it to what you want to get out of it, simply hit the mode button and you're done. So again, press all three, jumps in, set, your, set it to what you want, and jump out. So when do you have to adjust that? Generally, never. It, the default that these boards are set are something that we worked on for a long time and they work generally good through most ambient temperatures. If it's cold out, you may need to raise it one or two points. If it's really hot out and the temperature won't come down and you're trying to cook at a low temperature, you may need to lower it a little bit. There is a chart that comes with these grills that have basically what the default is and then what the outside temperature is and then a range where you might need to set that point. But I wanna emphasize generally, I, I do not mess with those. Um, the control board is pretty solid. Um, so don't get too wrapped around the axle on trying to change that thing because it does a pretty good job without changing that. Last thing, to shut the board off, simply press the, for two seconds, goes into a cool down and you'll see a C5, that's five minutes, it's gonna run just the fan, it's gonna cool off the grill, it's gonna extinguish the fire. Once that expires, the board will go blank and your indicator light will go red and you're good to go. Make sure your grill is cooled off uh, to touch and then you can go ahead and cover it on up. I do recommend leaving it unplugged. It's probably safe practice to do that, but again, that's, that's up to you. So with that being said, hopefully this quick little informational thing will help you understand how to operate the board. Pretty simple and uh, hopefully you enjoy it.